Um, it's January 26th, 2022. I am sitting here just trying to catch up on the morning whatever. I'm sticking with Channel 2 at the moment for one line of communication. Um, and on the TV now, about two, a few days ago, the Pluto TV had come up as a whatever. Um, but... I've seen, I've heard word patterns that are not linguistically Bayside Station, New York, um, and they're not New York State whatsoever. They're not the English I grew up with since 1978. Um, they also don't coptically read symbolically correct either. I have no idea what length... I have no idea what language this is, but this is now what's on the TV. Este e o c b s Nova York. Como se dice? I mean, like, again, in English, how do you say this? I mean, how is this acceptable and allowable in New York, and why is it changing this way? Because, I mean, where did the conversation happened that allowed this. On this particular program, um, they're talking about GM as General Motors and some battery thing. Now, in my local area, there's a place that's been shut down or it exists, but not like it used to, called Fort Totten. But it's not a fort, like it's... It's got a guard booth, um, but like the FDNY goes out of there, you can walk around, um, it's right on the water, some of the buildings are falling apart and decrepit, um, so I don't really know how they designate it, but it's down by Bay Terrace, it overlooks the bridge. Um, and if you take the time to actually read the postings there, they say that at during some at some point in North America's history, um, there was some. It was known for being Battery King, B A T T E R Y K I N G. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know if, I don't know, it's, there's, I mean, to piece this together, and do I go, I mean, like, there has to be a line of communication and a line of scholarly, but I'm having trouble following it. Now, there's something yesterday that they mentioned about affirmative action, and I'm like, something I've heard before. And then if I break the word down, it's AF. I'm like, is that Air Force? Air Force firm? Action? And I'm like, that's interesting because I don't know anybody there. And I'm like, and I don't see anybody. Like, I wouldn't know how, if they're walking on the street, how do you know the difference? Um... And it's not like they've got, like, boutique shops in the village to, like, walk into um, in Bayside Station. Anyway, I'm in Queens with no access to vehicle. Since Anthony takes my car every day. Um, let's think about this. So, I'm like, that's interesting. And they mentioned something about China was going after the college for affirmative action, which I don't know what that means. Again, I don't know these conversations. Like, where do you find out and who do you ask safely what it means? Um, again, like, New York, crime scene in process. And I'm like, uh, been waiting 43 years for... One line of communication. I mean, I'm pretty sure based on the way I was born. I mean, like, 
again, this goes back to astrological, like you knocked a planet out of alignment in the solar system. That by itself, there's a requirement of land management, relationship management, that no matter what, whether it's on this side with this Antonio Brown jersey or whether it's somewhere else in a different NFL team, just because that's another one of the headlines they put up there, it is irrelevant when it comes to a marriage between two astrologically programmed pieces for a different purpose outside of humanity's whatever. <sighs> So that's been withheld, like a real law guardian, since everything in this area is all crime scene related, and I don't know where to walk, where to stand, there's no director here saying, stand here, do that, say this, this is where we are, and this is what's going on, and this is how we're protecting you. Like, that didn't even happen. When we talk about negligence, I mean, holy crow. Um, so, it's like, I just don't know. So, today there's a conversation about, oh, so this affirmative action thing. So, China just joined it because it was something to do with some of the universities, I think, or the colleges. But I'm like, now, is that King's College? Like, the real scary people? Or is that the... And I'm not talking, like, false king on the negotiated schedule of I wasn't a part of it. It was a crime in process when I got here. Because, like, there's a real king that's supposed to look over my care that looks nothing like this doctor guy that put himself on the North American calendar, and I have no idea how that happened. So now, um, in, like, jail cells and grids on a repeating format of, like, every time it comes up, I look at it, and I'm like, so... Like, how do, like, who, where, who, where do I stand? What's the objective? What's the mission? Where are we going? Like, how do we become effective? And how do we, like, whatever? Yeah, like, there's been, where'd those people go? So, here we are, just all alone. Um, trying to send love notes to, like, whatever, somewhere that knows what's going on. So I don't know what this affirmative action the humans are going off of. I mean, between a, a human, an alien, and a monster in conversations. Like, again, there's no teachers here. So if you don't put teachers teaching what things to look out for or, like, what's going on, just give me, like, the main arena. What did I... What was I pushed into out of a foxhole, meaning Linda, in 1978? Just give me the synopsis. Where am I? Don't leave me disoriented walking around for 43 years. Doesn't sound very sportsmanlike in sportsmanship. Holy effing hell. Um, so anyway, so now this morning... So there, is that like the triad where you needed China to come in in order to overturn something? Because I'm pretty sure that the humans, it's some monster, I believe, because I really, I'm not sure 100%, but by the looks and of my re recognizance, um, it looks like there's some fight or there's some something going on, and it's... Um, like a whole lot of like jamming up different plays or people and um it gets really confusing as time dilates and expands um especially since I'm in a collapsing part of the universe which just means that gravity like first of all my my person my cellular genetic makeup is bloating taking on some kind of astrological timed whatever. And the origami, the health origami around me is starting to crumple. And then I've got this whole industry of whack jobs that call themselves doctors. 
um, under some false or like D-E-U-X king system where I can't find my own king referenced like I mean I see four profiles and the US Treasury gave me some paper to keep in my pocket to know that my profile matches what's on the bartering system around here that I have for certain and I don't have a lot of it but I have at least a bill or two at the moment or a quarter um dime nickel whatever so, um, that happened. But it gets really, really confusing. And then, like, the Antonio Brown conversation, there's something that they mentioned this morning, a CTE. I'm like, what the hell is CTE? So I had to look that up. Something about encephalopathy. encephalopathy. Well, here's the thing. I got these psychotic white coats of all different ethnicities now moving into the area of New York. And they've got prescription pads that they take vacations off of, and they're banking on only treating your symptoms, not the root cause of what caused the symptoms. I mean, they have the most... Dis your face twitches, and they have, a d they have a drug for it. I'm like, it's all about money-making at this point. Listen, biomedically, ethically... You catch a fungus, you need a ointment, that's understandable. You break a limb, you need an x-ray, you need somebody to cast it for you, understandable. But your face is twitching, where the hell is the physique person and physics person to look into why the hell is its face twitching? Humans' faces are not supposed to twitch. Human's faces are not supposed to all of a sudden start to melt. I mean, like, there's some, like, huge conversations that are not being attended to properly. They had something on this morning about a Bobby who's a baby formula. She's dressed all in green. It's a woman. And she had a whole conversation about moms with breastfeeding and how to feed your baby. She has this Irish accent with, like, English on top of it. I want to call it American, I don't really care, whatever. Um, but it was really confusing because she's like, well, it's, it, and the Bobby is easier to digest, B-O-B-B-I. Just so happens to be duolingual, uh, duolingua. But then F, they said FDA came in and wanted to shut her down because of the name. But Bobby is a take on the word breast. And it's, she said, if you squint... You can see the word, you know, breast out of Bobby. Plus, that's the name that they call the bottle um, that the children use when they're first learning to speak. Um, but, but from what I've been listening on this human speech pattern is of some form of intellect of I don't know how many. Is this the 2200 IDs trying to squeeze into one message? It looks like FDA and U.S. are like two separate coaches, is what it looks like. And then they've got some U.K. Is that the referee? I mean, like, again, I don't know how they set this up. It's really confusing. I don't even hear about the U.K. Um, on the television. I hear only U.S. things, which is fine. Keep focus. But then it sounds like the FDA is some oversight thing. But I'm looking at the way that they pulled the solar system already out of alignment since I've been here and all this crime's in progress. And I'm like, now, why are they stifling the progression of what is needed for land management around here? So now they've got some GM thing that they put up, that they're investing $35 billion in batteries so you can make trucks. I'm like, now, are the humans, are they expecting those things? Or is that just a conversation that's never supposed to go into effect? And then there are these false expectations that the breastfed formula kids are like, wait a minute, I was following the bingo card this way. 
with expectations of bingo card baby formula going this way. And all of a sudden, now, like, it just, whatever. I mean, it gets really confusing. It is like mental torture, being human in this area, only having a teleportation device and no other form of communication whatsoever. Um, not even a local to bounce ideas off of and say, hey, did you catch this? What do you think? I mean, I got Linda and Lou, but it's a generational gap and a third rail between them and I at the moment. Uh, it's shocking to even, I mean, I'm not going there. I'm not doing this. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. It is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Roman 361. So I don't... Right, she even pronounces it. But I have no idea where that comes from. We're back now at 7.30 on CBS Mornings. General Motors is doubling down on electric vehicles. And GM is investing nearly... Seven billion dollars in Michigan to build a new battery plant and overhaul an existing factory to make electric trucks. The company says it will create 4,000 new jobs and is its largest ever one-time investment in electric vehicles. It's a big deal. Now, uh, I believe on one hand they needed GM to get back into some form of whatever. I don't know why. Um... But my thing is, is are these battery factories going to cause massive pollution? And then it's, it's just promoting personal transport, which I thought we were supposed to not be promoting. And I know that it has jobs, but why are we not building and investing in self-sustaining communities and many cities why are they still just in, like, this one-time small win, but producing the wrong crap? And what are they going to do with all of the other vehicles that they waste, that are gas guzzlers, that are wasting and polluting the environment? I mean, like, this is what I really don't understand about this version of humans. And it's really not a fight I want to get into because I've got a planet pulled out of a solar system. I need that corrected so all of the other little pieces can go into, like, all the other pegs can get aligned properly. So th at least that fighting's taken off the... Because I was thinking about it, and I'm like, so they put Bill Cosby as some false... American dad with some false Dr. King on the calendar that doesn't match national security standards for this territory in this North American corridor doesn't match anything that would make sense on money in your pocket so everybody knows big wall of portraits so everybody knows because there was a big investment to make that big of a statement and reference piece um, some of the kids in the area actually have gotten hurt and have been canceled out of culture and conversation completely by this fight going on and this rewrite over and this competitive new whatever. I don't know why it was allowed. Why wasn't everything... Be I mean, because this is usually a conversation before it goes into effect. So why wasn't that position totally eradicated? And why are they purposely putting people in harm's way? Why are they purposely allowing them to develop conversations that are going to cause future civil outbursts and uprisings and so on and so forth? Why are the humans allowed to do this? I don't understand. I thought if, in, but I don't even know because I've never taken a civics course, but in just humanity, having children, I don't purposely want to put my own children in harm's way. I'm pretty sure other people don't want to purposely put their children in harm's way. Um, but again, that is a big assumption because I've seen things in on the news that really went into action in other parts of the city that are really um, scary. 
So, um, and yesterday my son comes home, they watch some Disney movie called Ice Age Meltdown inside PS31Q. The teacher put it on and it has curse words in it. So it's the Disney movie, but it must be some bootleg copy, not the proper G-rated whatever for general audience that I owned and my children have watched before with licensing and whatnot. It must have been some kind of bootleg copy, altered, doctored, dubbed over or whatever. And they're playing it in this new school. Well, not new school, but the school with the shroud on it now. And so my son was introduced not only to curse words, but I'm like, so what'd you do? I was like, did you say anything to the teacher? He's like, well, no. The, I mean, the teacher knows she's there. She can hear the curse words. I'm like, right, okay. So? He's like, I, he's, I just thought you should know. He says, because it's, he says, it's, it's Ice Age. He said, and he knew right away that the vocabulary in the Ice Age movie that we watch at home was different than the movie that the teacher was playing. In some whatever colored format, I suppose, what they used to say. That's colorful language. It's like a chef if you don't show anger, they doctor it up with a few intense words, fuego, it's whatever, but it's a portrait and a painting that you are making about the severity of what you're speaking on. I mean, I don't really, in normal colloquial, I don't, I don't use curse words, but when speaking on, I heard Antonio Brown say something about pit versus palace. Not really sure, but I can make an assumption on that one. If I'm at pit level, even though I may appear to be palace, but then again, I'm supposed to be at palace, and I have at times, but I've also lived amongst pit. So, I mean, you pick up some of these nuances that I wouldn't have otherwise, but being that my planet is pulled out of its solar system arrangement and the humans fail to allow me the person that I'm supposed to be with as law guardian of my person. Oh, this is just a horrible arrangement. I... And then not knowing what the expectations are of the others that have gotten to doctorate levels and so on and so forth. And what their conversations could possibly be because I don't know any of them. I don't even know how they were able to obtain doctorate and PhD degrees. I was speaking to a mom yesterday at the park. I'm like, my mom went to vocational school to learn how to how to do hairdressing, extent of her education. Lewis went to high school and then went to the business world. So my hair was always nice. Usually when I was little, my fashion was nice. But there was no, like, you have to do this, 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 this. There was no child planning. Child rearing doesn't exist in this it, I mean, the two parents were already knocked out. So where, how do you teach your child to reach for a doctorate level and to prepare for that from early on when they themselves have no idea and they never obtain that? But again, this is part of this encephalus, whatever. And they say that it's brain disease, but it's not brain of the human antenna the human antenna and the cephalon region, or the cephalic region, being the head, being the cephalic, and I being Elosin Nicole, if you spell it backwards and then forwards again from left to right for crop circles, in a gamma being the Y. 
I'm here. It's just the programming around and the origamic collapse is heavy gravitas and gravity downwards. And it is just pulling everything out of alignment, including the health matrix. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterza. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.